Hello everyone and good morning. Happy birthday to me. So I already started off by finishing this side to show you what my birthday look will be for today. And I um, used Bare Minerals Prime Time on this part of my face and I'm going in with Max Paint Pot on my eyeball right now for my primer. So I've never actually used a paint pot before or any MAC products, so I got some for my birthday and I'm super excited to try them out. Alright, now I'm going to go in with my favorite foundation. It is Kat Von D's Locket Foundation. At least this has been my favorite foundation for this month basically. Just applying that straight to my Bare Minerals brush and then I'm going to dot it on this side of my face. Little bullets and down my neck as well. And then I'm just going to start going in circular motions, working my way upward. I'm getting a sharp chin, my ear, and my face in general. It's like I've been awake since six something because of uh, the thunderstorm that woke me up, I was like, oh my goodness, is it, is there like cannon fire outside? It was super loud, guys, and I normally do not wake up for thunderstorms and things like that, because I live in Florida, and I live really close to the Space Center, kind of, sort of, or at least close enough to where I can kind of, well, I, when I grew up, I, I lived really close, but I, I live a little farther away now, so it's... I'm used to like the earth shaking and stuff like that and at first I thought it was a rocket going up and I was like oh it's just a rocket I, like I used to be able to sleep through that so I'm like oh, I've lived farther away for a while now oh my goodness sorry guys if you don't want me to be super chatty but too bad I'm in a really good mood today and I'm just going in with my NYX concealer I am like loving this stuff I've never tried it before until like last week or something like that and it's really, really awesome. Because so I was like, I wonder why, you know, everyone has this craze about it. I'm going to try it out. I know I'm going to try and try out a bunch of different products, which is why I have so much makeup. But you never know what you'll like. And now I'm going to go in with my usual NYC translucent powder all over this part of my face. I think I have to fix my headband because it is being a jerk today and doesn't want to hold back that little bang that was peeking out. Alright, now I'm going to move on to my eyeball. I'm going to go in with my Tony Mullen Jigglypuff eyeshadow guy. Uh, sorry, I dropped something. <laughs> and I'm going to take the gold shade right here and just puff all over my lid. By the way, who is your guys is like, I always say it's my spirit Pokemon is Jigglypuff because I sing all the time and annoy everyone around me. So, just curious if you guys identify more with one Pokemon than another and then I get irritated that no one wants to hear me sing. I don't know. Maybe in a past life I was a, an artist of some variety and I took this matte pink shade and I'm putting it in my crease area. Great, and now I'm going to take the brown shade and I'm going to define my outer portion of my eye. Just going in small strokes. Don't want to drag it harshly and move the pigment around too like much out of the area I want it in. I need to clean like all of my brushes. <laughs> Except for his left view, so I think I'm going to do that probably tomorrow because I don't feel like doing that on my birthday because I'm actually going to go out today and get a piercing done. So that should be fun. Next, I am going to go in 
with the tart -ist. Tortoise guy, he's just a little eyeliner. And just squeeze some out of the tube. And I guess I'm going to use my Jigglypuff mirror so I can really see what I'm doing. Just taking that part of it. By the way, you guys want to see that? I still haven't removed the little plastic guy because I'm like, it looks too nice and cute because it has another picture of Jigglypuff on it and he's just the cutest guy ever. Okay, not ever, because I think Evie's cuter, but yeah. By the way, I always say if my dog was a Pokemon, he would be a Jolteon, because Jolteon is the only Eevee evolution that does not have a tail. And since Ayn is a Pembroke Welsh Corgi, he does not have a tail. It was either chopped off or something when he was young. I don't really think it's that cruel for them to do that to that breed because when the breeders are doing that they don't know if the person's actually going to use them for their intended purpose of um, hurting and don't really want the dog to get hurt because the tail is actually cropped off to keep the dog safe. Just fun fact because we don't want a cow stepping on the dog's tail and really hurting them. I'm just taking that matte pink shade underneath my eye and also the brown shade now, and I'm only taking the brown shade about halfway. Alrighty. And now, I'm going to comb my lashes for some extra lift to my eye. Make it look all sexy like it's wearing a push up bra. <laughs> oh, sorry guys. <laughs> I am in such a mood today. But I am crazy. This is the Lancome Mascara Primer. And it's amazing. It's my favorite. You guys should definitely give it a try if you're able to. Alright. Well, I'm going to use my L'Oreal Voluminous Feline. Oh my goodness. There we go. Next, I'm going to take my Pixie Eyeliner, and this is in a gold, rose gold shade. I'm just putting it underneath my waterline area. I feel like I dropped something else, and I don't know what it is. I'll probably figure it out later and get mad at myself. Anyway, I actually already primed my eyebrow with the... Um, Benefit Bravo conditioner. <laughs> so I'm going to go in with my next brow mascara. Some things you got on the head, miss. Sorry, I've been listening to slash watching Yu Gi Oh GX and it's stuck in my head. I'm going to take the pink opal from the Kat Von D Alchemist. And put that on the inner portion of my eyeball. Alright. Because I'm just waiting for this guy to dry some more. Before I go in with my other brow product. Oh! I see the other thing that I was going to do. I was going to take the Caitlyn Just Mineral Guy. And put him also on the inside of my eye. Alright. Going to take the Anastasia Brows. Do you see guys say Anastasia or Anastasia? Because I say either or. It depends on which one I want to say more at that moment because I feel like sometimes it's fun to say Anastasia instead of Anastasia. It might just be an American thing. I have no idea. Anyone from another country watching? Tell me, is that just an American pronunciation or is that just an in general? I have no idea. I'm just going to fill that in a little bit more. At the top. And bring it down. Right here. And Next, I'm going to wipe off my little 
little, little powder guy. This is just an e.l.f. powder brush. Alrighty. Next, I'm going to go in with Bahama Mama. I'm using a fan brush to contour. I was going to go in with that same powder brush and just soften that line and get the rest of the powders being very stubborn today, which is a good thing, but a bad thing all at the same time. I am going to take this on the side of my nose as well. And I'm also going to take it on my forehead. And then since I'm already going extra today and actually using contour, not bronzer, I'm going to go on my jawline area. Right, I'm just going to soften those lines a little bit. I don't want any harsh lines making it look like I have dirt all over my face. That would not be pretty at all, guys. Okay, I don't think it'd be pretty. Next, I'm going to take the Lexi blush brush and go in with my hourglass brush brush blush ah. oh goodness talking so important yet cannot do it and this is in the shade magenta it's so pretty i wish you guys could see it in real life and i had better lighting because it's a stunning blush yes all right, next I'm going to go in, back into the Alchemist palette and go back in with Pink Opal. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh my gosh. <sighs> I'm just using my finger for this. And it's the Ofra little yellow powder guy I've been using. All right, and next I'm going to go back over that highlight again with Champagne Pop. From Becca. Oh, these look so pretty together, guys. And I'm just gonna put some of that also underneath my brow bone. If you haven't noticed, I really like using eyeshadow brushes lately to go and do my highlighting with. I don't know why, it just seems to like pick up the product evenly and makes it look pretty. All right, I'm going to use the MAC lipstick in Sushi Kiss. And I did just buy this for the name, I swear. It is still a pretty color, but I did just buy it for the name. Because I am, a, am obsessed with sushi. Just absolutely obsessed. All right, next I'm going to take this little sample size I have of, and it doesn't really want to come out, please come out. It is the Makeup Forever guy powder. It's, I think it's translucent. I don't know. Probably, and just dusting that all over my face. All right. Last step, I promise everyone. I'm going to take the Urban Decay Setting Spray and spray it on my face. Anyway, oof, this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Thank you and have a great day and a merry happy and birthday to everyone.